Rice meals are eaten all over the world in different varieties and different recipes. But risotto is exclusively Italian. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hope you're all doing okay. Today we're going to travel all the way to the beautiful city of Milan. And in this video we're going to use one of the most expensive spices in the world, the saffron. Saffron comes from the flower Corchis and this is one of the most expensive spices in the world. And for today's recipe we're going to do the risotto milanese which is believed to have come from the Spanish paella. Some people believe it's Arab, some people believe it's come from the Spanish. So let's get started. Add your saffron strands to your cold chicken or vegetable stock. In a separate pan, with some olive oil, saute your onions or shallots. Drop in your arborio rice and saute till it's nice and translucent. Once translucent, add your white wine, and once your white wine has reduced by half, add in half your saffron infused stock. Meanwhile, grate some parmesan. And make sure that you're always scraping the edges of your pan. That's where your risotto is most likely to burn and stick. Once your stock has been completely soaked up by the rice, keep adding ladle by ladle till your rice is nice and al dente. Turn off the heat and then drop in your Parmigiano Reggiano and mix it really well. This should give you a nice creamy effect with the starch and the creaminess of the cheese both mixing really well together. The reason for adding the saffron to cold stock is that it gives you a better color. So always start from a cold stock and then heat it up. Season with some Malden sea salt or any kind of kosher sea salt. And at the end, add in a knob of salted butter. Now just drop it onto a plate Risotto is mainly or rather my favorite way of eating this is with ossobuco So I made some ossobuco earlier which I will just put on top of my risotto alla milanese and I will share this recipe you in the upcoming videos as this video would be way too long.
this is basically made with wheel shank or with oxtail I'm gonna garnish it with some parmesan and some gremolata I'll also share this recipe in the description box below and there you have it risotto alla milanese Thank you for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and there are many more to come. If you like these kind of videos, do subscribe. And till next time, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy one of my favorite risottos and this absolutely delicious ossobuco. Stay tuned for this recipe. As always, this is me signing off. Bon appetit.